Today we are hopping on the high speed cat ferry and go back to the U.S. Because of all your comments, I'm shutting my mouth at the border crossing. You <laughs> yeah. said I talked too much. I um, said we talked too much too. Yeah. I knew when we were driving away. We we offered way too much information. Yeah, so they're going to get yes, no's today. <laughs> Our time here in Canada is done. We will have to come back because there was a lot that we didn't get to see or, or it just went too fast for us. So. Last night we stayed in a Walmart prepping for our ferry because it's only seven minutes from the ferry terminal. So let's get over there and get on board. Good morning. Good, how are you? My wife is behind me and she's got her passport with her. Okay, could I see her as well, please? Oh, she's got it with her. Yeah, she's, okay. yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll just ask her when she gets yeah. there. What I might do then, since I have to check hers, is I'll just give her all the tickets so that okay. I can just do it all. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just hand that now. Perfect. So you're all set. Okay. And I'm just gonna want you to drive the head up there. So. Alrighty, thank you. You too. She's gonna give you all the tickets and paperwork. Okay, okay. Good morning. Propane's off, it's right here. You wanna check it? You have to check it and tell you. You say you need to go in? Yeah, I okay. Check you for your traversion. All right. Arriving at Yarmouth Cat Ferry has on the right. When you're traveling from Yarmouth over back to Maine, thankfully the guys here will come on board and make sure you are good to go with customs because the list is long for items that you can't bring aboard. And we missed a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I'm glad they came on and, and checked stuff that they found. Most of it was, um, or all of it was fruits and vegetables which we thought we were getting to clear with. And he even said that the list online is vague um, and eggs weren't on there anywhere. So he took our uncooked eggs, a whole, well, it was a half dozen. And then our hard boiled eggs, he said we could keep because they were processed. So thankfully he left them because this is my breakfast. None of that food that was all prepackaged, none of it went to waste. So I wish I had known that because the stuff we had yesterday, we threw in the trash. And had I known somebody could eat it, we definitely would have waited and given it to them here. They said, if you're exiting the ferry over here, you go straight to customs. And when you hit customs, they just throw it all in the trash. So it's really a courtesy that they do it for us. And it's win-win because now all that stuff's not going in the trash. Somebody can benefit from it. I don't think I have my sea legs yet. I'm walking like I'm a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but we are moving pretty fast. I don't know if you saw the weight. We're moving. Oh, you can feel it now. Yeah. Not only are there three great places to sit and chill while you're going across the water on the ferry, but there's also plenty of food and a store to go shopping at, which you guys all know fills the shopper of the two of us, so I'm sure you'll spend some money in there. They have Christmas ornaments already. Right there. Let's go check them out. So this is last chance to get souvenirs from Canada, Phil. What are you getting? Crab skibbies. That's what I want. <laughs> is that a thing? A crab. Look, this is me. It is you. I like it. 
<laughs> We're watching everyone bob and weave on the boat. It's a pretty light ship, so they say it bobs and weaves, um, even in even in calm seas. So we moved all the way forward. Check out these chairs. Yeah. This is the place to be. So when you get on board, make sure you check out all the cafeterias, because there's three. Yep. They each have different things back here. You can see back there, this is the bar area, and I think they have the best food back here. They definitely have the best chairs. Yeah, they do. These recline, and there's a version of a couch on the outskirts of so, the lounge. So yeah, that's some, pretty cool, too. And some boots. So if you have a family, you guys want to all snuggle together, you can do that. <laughs> Everywhere I've gone, they say, you know you have to back down. You have to back out of here. So I'm gearing up for that. I've got three and a half hours to psych myself up to back down this long brow to get off the ship. We are lucky enough to be invited up on the bridge so again Phil gets to talk to the captain and you know those sailors they talk together you know how they are. Part of the high-speed craft code there's an ergonomic uh, segue that requires the engineer of the watch to stand watch on the bridge not only the engineer of the watch but also be as kind of like a partial lookout. A couple features about that require its necessity for one I mean we're going two three sometimes four times faster than most other merchant traffic. Yeah. As a watch officer if you're in a restricted waterway or you got restricted visibility or you're in a high traffic area, if you have an issue with anything, it's invaluable to be able to whip around and just talk to an engineer immediately. So if an alarm goes off down below, engineering, he sees it right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, immediately. Boom. That's what he's monitoring right now gotcha. on the left hand screen. This is main control, Yeah. DC central, Yeah. Uh, all in one. Essentially, the only things he really can't do are toss the mooring lines <laughs> right, and right about it <laughs> we're moving pretty good we're doing what, 26 knots 26 and a half yeah 30, 29.1 yeah 29.5 we cut back a little bit just nice. uh because we'll be a little early if we are if we don't <laughs> can't be there too early yeah i like to give the guys at the terminal a chance to wake up <laughs> yeah we'll keep an eye on your rv yeah yeah <laughs> yeah let's yeah, yeah, yeah. keep that thing in view yeah. don't want that rolling out of the back these throttles represent the grouped port and starboard propulsion. Mm -hmm. So engines two and four are on the port side, one and three on the starboard. What mode we have it in right now is called common mode starboard. So all four main engines, the RPM commands are handled through this combinator control. So we select which RPM we'd like to run at on this one and it groups and parallels all four main engines on wow. one stick so you don't have to manage a ton of other stuff. We're steering an autopilot right now right here. But if we took autopilot off uh, with common mode starboard, the starboard chair and the starboard joystick would be in command. Gotcha. Inversely, if we put it into common mode port, we'd have to match our throttles, pull that one back. Gotcha. Put it in common mode port, and Joe would be in. Even though this stick is not in command whatsoever, we keep it at open buckets in case someone finger fumbles a button. Gotcha. And accidentally puts us in there, and then we don't have closed jets. Okay. Crash <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and everybody's falling yeah. forward. Everybody ends up yeah. in the bar. Up yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your RV okay. would be up in the bow too. Yeah, <laughs> it would. Yeah, it would push up there. Try to avoid that. Yeah, it's almost a exact replica of what you see in the middle. Yeah. just a different arrangement. Mm -hmm. But my favorite part about it is that you've got twenty two thousand horsepower on that stick, and then another twenty two thousand on that one. It's a lot of power. Yeah, it's great. If I wanted to press the dock, that two right there, that's to get. Two magnitude on that stick is to walk the ship 1.2 knots to starboard. If I uh, didn't move my throttle back and I just wanted to like inch ahead, creep ahead, that same command ahead is 11 knots. So it's, uh, yeah, wow. you can get away from me quick. I would say so, <laughs> yeah. That's so the ship is actually owned by the Navy. Uh, it's on the Marad Register. Uh, this ship and her sister. Uh, this ship's name is the Alakai, her sister's name is the Huakai, who's in service for the Navy right now. She's activated, so she takes on the name the USNS Guam. If we were activated, we would take on the name USNS Puerto Rico. They were acquired by the Navy in 2009. And I'd like to think that the Navy saw them attractive for a couple different factors. Not only are they high speed, so above 35 knots, they carry a ton of cargo and we draft only about nine and a half ten feet so the littoral combat uh, mm -hmm. theaters are very accessible very minimal altercations or accommodations for us to discharge and load cargo at any type of facility uh, even a beach this thing went into service in 2010 for the Haitian earthquake mm -hmm. able to deliver 
on location, more more goods, services, and relief than uh, you know several uh, typical merchant ships. Uh, and she was also able to access the harbors there uh, far easier. So she delivered potable water, uh, medical workers, uh, triage equipment, and then additionally served as a, uh, a triage center because she was the biggest structure that could reach a dock. Set up tents on board and managed patients and. Leave the comfort and the mercy. The uh, hospital ships were also mm -hmm. there, but they, uh, you know, they, they couldn't get nearly they as, can't close. Get as close. Yeah. yeah, and we could get recalled whenever. And Bay Ferries, they they got a good deal specifically for the maintenance and upkeep on this thing. The Navy wants to keep it current. Uh, Bay Ferries goes above and beyond as far as providing maintenance. And so you know, we had to purge like 300 or so Navy yeah. hats when we went full time. So the acquisitions just keep coming. So we'll yeah. have to see what gets purged. That's a nice hat, though. It is. I like the color and the pad stands out. What do you think? These chairs are not too bad. They're pretty comfy. They're not. And I think, don't they recline? Oh, know. maybe not. I wish they were this comfortable when we were on the plane. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, so let's talk about the question I know you guys are asking is, what's it going to cost us to take the ferry from Yarmouth over to Bar Harbor, Maine? And it's actually not as bad as you think. For us, it was $823. Based on our length. And, well, I mean, that includes, yeah. it's 115 for each passenger, the rest is the RV okay. and the tow car. And that is based on length. And I know what you're thinking, wow, 800 and something dollars to, to make it back to the U.S. But if you think about it, that's actually pretty cheap. Yeah, because if we were to drive from Yarmouth back through Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and back into Maine, it would probably cost us about that much in fuel. So for sure, at least 500 bucks, which is yeah. what our, our vehicle car costs are, because it's 625 miles and it's like 11, 12 hours of driving. Yeah. So that is a lot of fuel we would put in the RV's tank. Yeah, and that's RV driving, RV miles. So you know everything's slower um, in the RV. But you know now we've got somebody else doing the driving and we get to sit back and relax. That's right. And if you're driving a car, if you're trying to decide if it's worth it to take the speed the speed, the cat ferry, which is a yeah. speed, what are they called? It's not a speed boat, a speed. It's, it's just a fast, it's fast ferry. It's a fast ferry. Anyway, yeah. if you're taking it, just so you know, a car up to 20 feet is only $199. And you're definitely going to spend that in fuel, even if you, you know, have a car, a car with good economy. Yeah, I mean, that is much cheaper taking the ferry over than driving all the way around, even in a car, I would say. And it's 200 a, bucks. I mean, save in two days. I mean, come yeah. on, time is money. Exactly. Um, and for us, it's just peace of mind. It's knowing that we can sit back, relax, uh, catch our breath for a minute, and let the captain uh, navigate us over. made it to Maine. Look at that. Woo -woo. We are so lucky to be guests of the ship. So they took us on an excellent, excellent tour and the captain let us hang out with them for a little bit. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm almost aired up. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going. Okay. Got the radio. Got it. All right. Okay. Okay. Can you check this pole over here? Am I centered? Uh, 
Uh, you just keep working your way this way. Okay. Once we get to the bottom, we'll slow you down. Okay. Sure you got clear. How you doing? You looking good from here. Yeah, it's the bumps that'll get me. I hit another one right now. The ramp's gonna go up. Your tires are almost there. Huh? Man, I pull up just a little bit. Are they got a mean fog I'm going to hit, they're going to pull out tire ramps for me. You're good. She, she was watching the tail end. It was too low, so they got to bring me up on ramps. Alrighty, sounds good. I think they're going to bring me up a little bit to get me straighter. Very interesting. It looks like they're putting two ramps together to come up and then back like so. Yeah, that's what I saw. It's kind slow. Okay. Stopping so they can remove the ramps. How's the nose look? The counter room up front. I think that's more the the hitch. I can see my reflection in the in the mirror, and it looked like a car was back there. All right. We're good. All the way to the top of the hill. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. How you doing? Good. You get up here where Brady is, and then you're back in towards that building, and then come out and go up lane one. Okay. He's right there. You can use him as a target. Gotcha. Thanks, guys. Lane one. Good. Gotcha, and that's my wife behind me. Okay, we're fine. Good. Hopefully, she has her own She does, yep. Where do you guys live? San Antonio, Texas. Yes. And how long were you in Canada for? Um, I think six weeks, seven okay, weeks. So you guys were in storing? Yes. Around. Yep. Anybody with you on board? No. Dogs, cats, animals? No. Nope. Any fruits, vegetables, alcohol, tobacco, guns, or weapons? They took all the stuff we couldn't have. I have to take a quick look. Yeah, for come on in. You can take a seat, and I'm just going to go all the way back. Okay. Nice camera. Thank and you. I guess it's like a house. It is. Pull, just pull hard. Yeah, I didn't want anything to fall. Slam it. There you go. Yep. Okay. Thank you. You're all set. Here's your passport. Thank and you very once much. I get out, you can leave it. Okay.